welcome everybody for another question and another session for mrcs exam it will help you a lot to prepare yourself for mrcs exam so here the question which of the following is not a branch of the external carotid artery so it is one of the easy question and short question that which is not a branch of the external carotid artery so first of all we have to find out the external carotid artery location of the external carotid artery and details about the external carotid artery that the options options are facial artery lingual artery superior thyroid artery mandibular artery and maxillary artery so we have to find out a artery which is not branched from the external carotid artery so here first of all we can see this is the external carotid artery in the first picture and in the second picture we can see this artery is the external carotid artery this is the external carotid artery and this external carotid artery it arising from the this lower part of the artery this is the common carotid artery so the external carotid artery arising from the common carotid artery so let's see this the external carotid artery it arises from the common carotid artery and terminates into the two terminal brands one is the superficial temporal another one is the maxillary artery in the anterior to the here so here in the first picture we can see the uh, the total eight branches of the external carotid artery first of all the first branch is the superior thyroid artery then lingual then facial so in this line this is very very important that the superior thyroid lingual and facial branch these three is located anteriorly so these are the anterior branch so this point is very important that the facial artery lingual artery and superior thyroid artery they are the anterior branch of the external carotid artery and from here on of the important question that what is the first branch of the external carotid artery from this picture we can see here the superior thyroid artery it is the first branch of the external carotid artery then in the we can see the terminal two branches one is the superficial temporal another one is the maxillary so superficial temporal and the maxillary artery these two are the terminal branch so anterior three branch terminal two branch two terminal branch are superficial temporal and maxillary and we can see the two artery which located or two branches arising from the posterior and they go behind the ear one is the posterior auricular another one is the occipital so the posterior auricular and occipital they arising from the external carotid artery and they are the posterior branch so anterior three branches terminal two branches posterior two branches then one ascending pharyngeal we know that the pharynx pharynx lies in the midline and here we can see this artery is located on the lateral side so this ascending pharyngeal is the medial branch so ascending branch ascending pharyngeal artery it is the medial branch so this according to the location of the branches the name are the anterior some anterior branch some posterior branch terminal branch and medial branch anterior three anterior three posterior two terminal two and ascending pharyngeal one so total eight branches from the external carotid artery and the second picture we can see the same picture but here the other structure that means the related structure also present here and you can see here this is stretching of the external carotid artery and just after arising it gives the superior thyroid artery it goes to the thyroid then we can see the ascending pharyngeal artery here and it goes medially then lingual artery it goes to the tongue and the facial artery here so we can see the anterior branches are the superior thyroid lingual and facial but the ascending pharyngeal after arising it goes medially and we can see the two terminal branches one is the superficial temporal another one is the maxillary and also here we can see two branches going posterior to the ear one is the posterior auricular and another one is the 
occipital artery so these are the eight branches of the external carotid artery and the knowledge of the location of the branches also important for the external carotid artery so here the mnemonics through this mnemonic we can uh, remember easily the branches of the external carotid artery and here we can see this name mnemonic she always like friends over papa mama and sister so she again always like friends over papa mama and sister this is one of the mnemonic and it is one of the easy mnemonic that she always like friends over papa mama and sister so first she is for superior thyroid then always a a for ascending pharyngeal then l for lingual f for facial o for occipital p for posterior auricular m for maxillary and s for superficial temporal and another mnemonics which uh, here we can see the mass block so two important mnemonics one is the she always likes friends over papa mama and sister and mass block m for maxillary artery a for ascending pharyngeal artery s for superior thyroid artery s for superficial temporal artery f for facial artery l for lingual artery o for occipital and p for posterior auricular so these two important mnemonic to uh, remember all the branches of the external carotid artery here so here our final set is the mandibular artery because the mandibular artery it is not branched from the external carotid artery and here we can see the another mnemonic some angry lady figures out pms is for some angry lady figures out pms through this mnemonic we also remember all the branches of the external carotid artery so the mandibular artery it is not branched from the external carotid artery but other branches here such as the facial artery lingual artery superior thyroid artery maxillary artery they are the branches of the external carotid artery and facial artery you know it is the anterior branch lingual artery it is also anterior branch superior thyroid artery it is anterior branch so these three are the anterior branch and the maxillary artery it is the terminal branch thank you